Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of the Z Code System here on YouTube. I'm Drew and it's good to be back here. It's been a little while since I've been with you. And as I say, it's good to be back here to talk about some sports that are coming up and one that I'm excited for, and I know a lot of you will be too. And that is the kickoff to the 2020-2021 Premier League season. And today we're gonna to take a look at uh, three games that I'm going to pick, uh, show you picks for uh, from the VIP at Z Code System and talk to you a little bit about the season upcoming that we're going to see in England. Now, on the blog, as you can see it right there, you can go over there and you can read up on the preview that I wrote and the pick. And it does say picks, but I've only put one in the blog this week because I'm going to give you three on the video here that we have on YouTube. So uh, a little chance for you to get some uh, info there at the YouTube channel. Now, if you're browsing through and you stumbled upon this video, I hope you enjoy it. And if you wanna stay up to date on all the news over at Z Code System and how to get all these great picks that we give uh, every week, uh, then be sure to like and subscribe and you'll get these videos every time. Uh, you'll get notifications every time that we post one here for baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever sport it is that you follow, you're gonna find a lot of great videos. And if you are coming back again for a, another video, if you're a regular with Z Code System, then thanks so much. And we're glad to have you back here. So as you can see, we're talking Premier League 2020, 2021, uh, and it kicks off this weekend on Saturday. The first game of the weekend is going to be Fulham, newly promoted Fulham from the EFL Championship. They're going to be taking on Arsenal, who are the reigning FA Cup winners. And if two weeks ago you were watching uh, they also won the FA Community Shield by beating Liverpool on penalties, and that is the traditional curtain raiser here in England as the season gets ready to kick off. And that was a big um, trophy, and a lot of people, they dismiss the Community Shield, but in my opinion, that was a big trophy for Arsenal to pick up because that is going to, uh, or that can really give them a lot of momentum going forward. Uh, Liverpool going into this season, they were the winners of the Premier League last season. A lot of expectations on their shoulders to do it again, to repeat. They've had two fantastic seasons back-to-back -back under Jurgen Klopp. Uh, they came close to the league title uh, two years ago in 2018-19, losing out on the last day of the season to Manchester City. And then last year, they really just blitzed the Premier League, especially in that first two-thirds of the season, and they went on to win the title for the first time in 30 years. So a great year for Liverpool supporters. Now, this season, Premier League, uh, well, sports books uh, have given their odds on who they believe will win the Premier League. And at the moment, Manchester City, ahead of kickoff, they are the team that sports books are backing. But Liverpool are second uh, in favorites odds. And then we go down the list to Chelsea and Manchester United. Now, this is going to be. Um, a very interesting season, in my opinion, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I think is going to have a big effect on this year's Premier League. And we could see a very wide open league in which the top teams really take points off of each other. And we don't have necessarily a juggernaut like we had last year with Liverpool. We've seen Chelsea go out and spend an ungodly amount of money uh, in the offseason and even before the offseason to sign players. Uh, for this year, they've signed Timo Werner from RB Leipzig. They signed um, Kai Havertz recently for 72 million pounds. They signed him from Bayer Leverkusen. They signed Hakim Ziyech for uh, 36 million pounds from Ajax and Ben Chilwell for over 40 million pounds from Leicester City. So Frank Lampard is really, uh, and the club are really working to uh, regenerate that squad and to rebuild it. And a lot of the uh, well, an article I read today talked about how Chelsea are really trying to build a dynasty behind Frank Lampard. And this is a Chelsea team that was extremely inconsistent last year. And they were, if you could attack this Chelsea team, then you had a lot of success uh, in the final third. They had a really good attack. They have some really good forwards uh, and attacking midfielders. But it's that defense 
that uh, let Chelsea down last year. And I think that's going to, uh, in the end, uh, affect them this season. So uh, I think that Chelsea is going to be a very exciting team to watch. They're almost going to be like a FIFA 20 team or a FIFA game team where you've got this ungodly amount of money that you've put into the team to have all these amazing attacking players. But then at the very end, uh, you're going to have some issues in defense. Now they're going to kick off, Chelsea that is, is going to kick off their Premier League season on Monday night against Brighton away at Brighton. Um, I expect them to win that game. Uh, we're not going to look at that game though today. We're not going to profile that game. We're going to profile some other games, including that Liverpool game as they take on Leeds United. Now, before I get to those and the VIP wall, I want to draw your attention to one little tool that uh, you might enjoy using. And I actually quite like using, uh, using it in a lot of the writing that I do and a lot of the articles I do. And that is a website that I'm going to show you that talks about expected goals and expected points. So this is the website Understat, and uh, I'm just looking at the Premier League table from last season. And as you can see, this is a really good tool to use to see how teams are performing. Uh, are they performing uh, to their capabilities? Are they underperforming or are they overachieving? Now, this, as you can see, this is from last season. So all 38 games had been played. And as you can see, you can see the regular table here, uh, wins, draws, losses, goal scores, and goals against, and total points. Now, the great thing about this is using the data that this website uses, and this is um, a, a newer tool, the expected points and expected goals tool. This has been something that um, soccer statisticians and analysts have developed and been using over the last, it's, it's really developed, I guess you could say, uh, 10 years ago, but it's only really uh, more recently been used widely. And actually, to be honest, it's not really used that widely um, by fans and pundits. Uh, but this is something that was used uh, based off of the different analytics that is used in Major League Baseball in uh, in the USA, in Canada. So as you can see, we've got the expected goals uh, that players or that the teams should score. Uh, and this is based off of a variety of different data. Uh, we've got the expected assists that uh, teams should have during the regular season. And as you, sorry, uh, the expected goals against, not assists, my bad on that one. Uh, and then we also have the expected points that teams should have. Now, this is a great tool to use, especially if you're going to be betting on players to score in a game, uh, or perhaps you're going to go with over-unders. Uh, or both teams to score for that matter. And this website is great because you can also look at the tables and obviously when the games kick off this weekend, you'll be able to start seeing up-to-date data uh, for the 2020-2021 season. And you can also search players who play in the Premier League. So a great tool to use. It's a free tool. Um, and again, I use it for a lot of my writing. Um, but as you can see here, just using Liverpool as an example, they, they tallied 99 points last season to win the title. But based on data, they were only expected to tally 74.28 points. So they overachieved by 24.72 points. Now, in contrast, Manchester City, they underachieved by 5.76 points. Um, now, this is, again, a great tool. And you can see here how Liverpool, they scored uh, more goals than they were expected. Um, they did also concede more goals than they were expected to. So, um, sorry, they conceded fewer goals than they were expected to um, last season. And you can go down through the table and you can see just how the teams are performing, uh, just like with the different analytics, if you are familiar with Major League Baseball in the USA. So definitely a tool to check out to use if you're going to be wagering on Premier League football this season. And it's a free website called understat.com. You can go over there and check that out. And then you can use this tool with all the tools that we offer over at Z Code System to help you out. And now let's take a look at these VIP picks that I promised. And first, first we're going to start out with Liverpool and Leeds United, which is going to take place on Saturday and is going to take place at 530 UK time, which should be around 1230 on the East Coast in the USA. Okay, guys, as you can see right there in front of us, we have Leeds United taking on Liverpool. Now, Leeds United will be going over to Anfield to play Liverpool. They'll be making that trip uh, across 
the, uh, the UK from the East to the West. And as you can see, both teams there based on last year's games, burning red hot. Um, now, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, teams have not been able to do the usual preseason prep that they've normally been able to do. Uh, we've seen teams like Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, all the big massive teams uh, in the UK. They go on uh, big uh, trips around the world to play exhibition games, friendly games before the start of the season. Uh, that's not happened this year. So Liverpool, they uh, took a trip to Austria, played a couple games against some teams there, and then they uh, had a few friendly games in England, as well as playing that FA Cup Community Shield match against Arsenal, which, again, they lost on penalties uh, after the game finished 1-1 after full time. Now, Liverpool go into this game. They've done very little in the transfer market this season or this offseason. The only player of note that they brought in was Kostas Simikas, who comes in from Olympiakos, a Greek international. Uh, he's, going to be, uh, he's going to be a backup left back, though, however, to Andy Robertson. He'll get some plenty of playing time during this year because Liverpool are going to be playing a lot of games in all competitions. Now, the problem is now with Simikas is he just came back from international duty with Greece and unfortunately tested positive for COVID-19. So he is going to be quarantining and out of the team for the next two weeks. Uh, but Liverpool will be able to go into this. Andy Robertson is fit and healthy. The defense is fit and healthy, and um, they should be a very difficult team to beat. Um, even without Liverpool going out and spending money this offseason to buy attacking players, they still have the likes of Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino, and one player that you really need to watch out for this year is Takumi Minamino, a Japanese international who joined Liverpool last January from Red Bull Salzburg out of Austria. Now, Minamino struggled to adapt to the Premier League in January and through the spring. Now, the difference is he's really come on strong in preseason, and there is a typical uh, betting in time in the Premier League where we see players they struggle for maybe the first six months to ye a year before they re it really clicks with them. And it's starting to click with him. He's had some goals in preseason. He scored the equalizer against Arsenal in the uh, FA Community Shield. And to be honest, it's almost like a brand new signing for Liverpool. Even though he joined last January, he wasn't up to speed yet. Uh, but now he is, and he could be very exciting this season. Now, if we look at Leeds, Leeds have come up from the EFL Championship where they really hammered teams last year. Um, had some dips in form at times, uh, but they were really good in the best team overall, of course. They are led by Marcelo Bielsa, fantastic coach, who is uh, has you know this defined set of tactics that he uses. He has a hardworking team who will run hard for 90 minutes. Now, the problem is this, these tactics were something that in the EFL Championship, teams couldn't uh, couldn't play against. Um, teams were just running to the ground against Leeds. That's not going to happen in the Premier League. Now, sports books, leading sports books don't believe Leeds are going to fight relegation, or at least they don't believe they're going to be relegated at the end of this year. And uh, I believe they're 150 to 1 to win the Premier League, which is not going to happen. But uh, Leeds will be good this year. They'll be a completely competitive team. They really spent a lot of money in the, uh, the offseason here to bring in some players, and so they should be a good team. The problem is they're not going to be able to overrun teams and outrun teams and outwork teams like they did last year in the EFL Championship because of the player stamina and the player ability is, is a step above in the Premier League. Now, they are going to give Liverpool a game. I guarantee that. It's going to be a very cagey game, uh, first game of the season. But I am picking Liverpool to pick up a win in this game and to start the season on the right foot. Now, Liverpool will go into playing Chelsea in the second week of the Premier League season, and that is going to be away at Stamford Bridge. That is going to be a tricky game. If Liverpool were to lose this game, that would make that game incredibly important, more important than it already is. And at the same time, if Liverpool were to lose their first two games of the season, I could not see them rebounding to put in a title challenge. Um, I Personally, I don't think Liverpool are going to win a second Premier League title this season. I just don't think they're going to have it in them to do it. Um, but I do believe that they will run Manchester City close uh, or Chelsea close uh, in the title picture. Uh, and I think they will pick up a win to start the season. I actually quite like that 2-1 score prediction there from Z Code system. And I think these two teams will both score and we will see uh, over 2.5 goals. Liverpool's defense 
has been shaky. Um, I don't like Joe Gomez in central defense. I prefer Joel Matip, but I think Gomez will start next to Virgil van Dijk. And I think that could be a problem for Liverpool. So 2-1 to Liverpool in this game and to start their season on a good note. Okay, let's take a look at another game that's going to take place on Saturday. Okay, guys, so we just looked at the Liverpool versus Leeds game, and we get the score prediction for that and off of the VIP wall there. And now I've just actually gone over to a, another tool at Z Code System. So you've got to see the, uh, the VIP picks and the VIP wall, but now I'm going to show you the Soccer Buddy tool, which is a, a tool that we can use here at Z Code System to give you an idea of what we're going to see in terms of uh, total score prediction over 1.5 goals, over 2.5 goals, both teams to scores, uh, both teams to score, etc. and so forth. So this is another great tool over at Zcode System. And I thought it might be fun to just have a quick look at this uh, to look at our next game or games uh, coming up in the Premier League. And as you can see there, we've got the 12th of uh, September coming up and we've got three games there highlighted now after we've already looked at that Liverpool game. And the one I'm really uh, interested in is that game right there, the Arsenal versus Fulham game, because I think Arsenal are going to be a really good team this year. I don't know if they're going to be good enough to challenge for the Premier League title. I don't really think they will be, but I do think they will crash the top four and qualify for the Champions League. Mikel Arteta is a very good coach. He's already won a trophy in his first six months at the at the club, actually two trophies, uh, if you count the uh, FA Cup and the Community Shield. And I think this is a team that's on the up. They've had a good summer, a good offseason of adding players. I'm not sure about their goalkeeping situation. Uh, Bernd Leno is coming back from an injury, and in his timeout, uh, Emiliano Martinez really shined for the club, but it looks like they're going to sell Martinez and keep Leno. So there's a little bit of an issue there. Otherwise, I really like this team and I like what they're doing. Fulham, another newly promoted side. And I really think they're going to struggle coming up this week uh, and for most of the season. Now, uh, Arsenal, the last time they played Fulham uh, two seasons ago, they went to Craven College and won 5-1. And they also picked up a 4-1 win at home. Will they defeat Fulham like that and so emphatically like they did two seasons ago. I don't think it's going to happen uh, quite like that. I do think Arsenal will pick up a win and I think Fulham will struggle to get goals. And as you can see there, we've got a score prediction uh, two, uh, two to one Arsenal uh, over 2.5 goals that is. And uh, we can see that a 70% chance uh, likely to be over 1.5 goals in this game. So you can see uh, right here. Now, this is a prediction for a first half lead for Fulham. Fulham will be playing at home. I'm not sure I agree with that. Uh, I don't really agree with that. I think Arsenal are going to be too strong for Fulham uh, on this day. Now, as you can see there, we've got a couple of other games, so you can use that uh, information uh, as you see here on our video. I'm not going to talk you through these games, but you can go over to the Z Code System website and you can check out the Soccer Buddy to look at these predictions, these picks, uh, in terms of total goals and both teams to score and uh, score line, uh, score prediction. So guys, we're going to see a really exciting weekend this weekend in the Premier League. Match day one, a lot of good games. Now keep in mind there are two games postponed. Manchester City's game has been postponed as well as Manchester United's. Luckily, it's not COVID-19 related, but it has been postponed because both teams played in the Champions League and Europa Leagues respectively uh, in August. So they're just needing a little bit more time to recover and prepare for the upcoming Premier League season. So they've been given an extra week off. So those teams will not be in action. Four teams not in action uh, this weekend. So there's going to be lots of football, though, on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So be sure you're watching along and betting with your favorite sportsbook. And of course, checking back with Z Code System. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and a subscribe if you did. And if you've come back again to enjoy another Z-Code System video, please uh, give us a thumbs up. And also, you can comment below and let us know what you think. So, guys, good luck this weekend with your sports betting on the Premier League. And we will see you next week when we look at Match Day 2 of the Premier League. And don't forget to go over to the Z-Code System channel and the blog to check out our other picks and predictions for the NHL and the NBA playoffs, which are going on right now. And of course, the Major League Baseball playoffs, which will be coming up shortly. Uh, we've got lots of picks there for the regular season. So guys, we'll see you soon. Take it easy and good luck this weekend from Z-Code System.